One of the most talked about, most important companies on the entire planet, NVIDIA. It is right at the epicenter of the AI revolution, and its story is just absolutely wild. Okay, so with all this incredible success, you have to ask, what could possibly go wrong, right? Well, every great story has its challenges, and NVIDIA is no different. Let's flip the coin and look at the bear case, the potential headwinds that could slow this company down. First and foremost, competition. And boy, is it heating up. You've got the usual suspects, your AMDs and Intels, who are racing to create competitive chips. But maybe the bigger threat is that NVIDIA's biggest customers, think Google with its TPUs or Amazon with its own custom chips, are now designing their own hardware in-house. Why? To become less dependent on NVIDIA. And beyond competition, there are three other huge risks to keep an eye on. One, the valuation. The stock is priced for utter perfection, which means any sign that AI demand is slowing could cause a really sharp correction. Two, the supply chain is fragile. NVIDIA relies heavily on one manufacturer, TSMC, which is based in Taiwan, a major geopolitical hotspot. And three, you've got regulatory risk, like US export rules for China, which could cap a big part of their future growth. So all of this brings us right to the central tension for anyone looking at NVIDIA today. You've got this unbelievable performance and growth on one side and some pretty significant risks on the other. It really all boils down to one question. Is the stock already priced for perfection? And to get a handle on that, we just need to quickly talk about a key metric, the P-E ratio. All it is, really, is a way to measure how much investors are willing to pay for $1 of a company's profits. So, a higher P-E means the market has really high expectations for future growth. And here's the kicker. NVIDIA's forward P-E ratio is way up there, somewhere in the 40 to 50 range. That is a huge premium compared to its peers in the semiconductor industry. What that means is investors are making a big bet that NVIDIA's crazy growth isn't just going to continue, but that it's going to justify paying that much higher price. So what's the bottom line here? Well, it really depends on your perspective. If you're a long-term investor and you believe this whole AI build-out is just getting started and has years to go, then NVIDIA is the undisputed leader, and the case is still really strong. But if you're looking at a shorter time frame, you have to be aware of the high volatility. The risk of buying in right at a market peak is very, very real. You know, at the end of the day, it kind of comes down to this. NVIDIA built the house where the entire AI party is happening. They are selling the picks and shovels in the middle of a digital gold rush. So the multi-trillion dollar question is simple. How long is this party gonna last?